you are interested in getting game codes really, really cheap, definitely go ahead, click the link in the description to Gamers Outlet. They're incredibly cheap, incredibly fast delivery. They send you your codes through email near instantly. They send it as a PDF file, so you just rotate it and then type in the code in Steam or Origin or, or uh, PSN or Xbox. They do a range of different things, a wide variety of different things, and it's definitely worth going ahead and uh, checking them out. So if you're interested, the link is in the description. Enjoy the video. Well, what is going on from welcome back to a brand new video today we're going to be talking about more Chelsea transfer news and if I sound a bit weird I've been sounding like this for the past couple of days as I wake up it's like I sound like I've got a cold when I haven't um, maybe I have I don't know but anyway um, first of all the game in the background is is Formula 1 2015 I'm not sure if you're familiar with Formula 1 but if you if you are and you want to get the new game if you want a chance to get the new game for, for cheap the link is in the description guys I'm telling you um, a gamers outlet is is incredible. I'm they are a sponsor of mine, and I personally use them. That's where I got my F1 2016 key for. Um, and if, if you enjoy F1 games, then definitely go ahead and uh, check it out. But anyway, uh, moving on to this, we have quite a bit to talk about today. First of all, an article basically about an hour or two after I uploaded the last video, an article came out uh, regarding Farragas and and. Um, whether or not he'd be staying and he said that he would relish the chance to to play under Antonio Conte and earn his place in the team which for me is good news you'll have to let me know in the comments are you happy that Fabregas will be staying in and around the first squad uh, the first team sorry I, I think that's good news to play to have a player of Fabregas's quality on the bench that that baffles me you know because Matic and Kante against West Ham Matic and Kante were were fantastic they played really well they had, they held down the midfield really well um, they, only, they limited West Ham to like three or four chances. Um, so it was a really, really good, solid midfield battle. And I'm, I'm happy with that. And to have a player of Fabregas' quality to come on and play a 90-yard pass, <laughs> you know, it's um, it's incredible. So there's that. Um, also, Quadrado. There's been talks, The uh, I think it's the president or, or the manager or something like that of Juve has come out and said that he's interested in Quadrado and would love to have him um, around the in Juve. And... It's basically just up to Chelsea or something like that. And let me know your thoughts on this one as well. Would you let Quadrado go? If so, for how much money would you let him go for? Of course, this is Juve. They don't have the type of TV money that um, that, uh, that Chelsea and all of the other Premier League clubs have. So it's not going to be a ridiculous amount. So it'll probably be about 30, 40 million at most. Um, now, I know that they just sold Pogba. I know that they... They they uh, they sold him for a ridiculous fee, but they did bring in Higuain, so they've basically used their that money straight away um, with like five million to spare. So it's not like they're going to have a ton of money, and um, I don't know. But you have to let me know in the comments. So there's that. Uh, what other transfer news is there? Koulibaly. Apparently Chelsea are interested. Uh, obviously Chelsea are interested in Koulibaly. who have been interested in Koulibaly for the last well since the windows opened, or since like the the appointment of Conte. We've been interested in Koulibaly, and there's been loads of reports about this one. One of which is that Chelsea are, are readying a, a club record £60 million fee for Koulibaly. Um, bearing in mind that there were reports coming out about a week ago saying that, that uh, they were ready to accept £50 million and they were waiting out for £50 million for him. And I, I just don't understand, because last week we were putting in bids of like 42 or something like that. And now, all of a sudden, it's jumped to 60. It's like, really? Why can't you just talk to the club and put down a £50 million offer? See where that gets you, rather than putting 60. But they're, they're, like I said, they're just reports, so it is just rumours. Um, but yeah, so there's that. Also, following that report, there's been a lot of uh, other ones saying that if we get Koulibaly, uh, Conte could perhaps change to a 3-5-2 or a 3-at-the-back formation. Um, now, we've seen 3-at-the-back in the Premier League before. Van Hal, and it didn't particularly go too well. Now, obviously, I know uh, Conte is completely different to LVG. I know that he's, in personally, he's a much better manager. He knows more about the formation. He knows he comes into a club and he knows exactly what he wants to do with the team. He knows that he wants, um, he knows what he wants to in the way of setting it up and and how he wants the players to play. You could tell that because the Chelsea team in the West Ham game looked drilled. They looked like they, they knew what they were doing up to a certain point. They're not still 
they're still not really 100% with it by the looks of it, but they're, they're learning, they're, the progress is there, you can see, because this time last year, we had players that were overweight, we had players that, that could have run a full 90 minutes, like they weren't match fit, even after pre-season, like, it was a completely different kettle of fish, so I'm happy, I'm happy so far, you'd have to let me know, so let me know in the comments, do you think that Fabregas will leave? Um, no, no, do you think that Quadrado will leave? <laughs> If so, how much would you sell him for? Um, I'm thinking if we do sell him, I'm thinking maybe 30, 40 million. Um, because he is a really, really good player and he will be a good backup to Willian. Um, and of course, if anything happens to Willian, what a player that we could bring on in, in the likes of Quadrado. Um, who could light up the right just as, uh, or just well, I would say just as easy as Hazard, but let's face it, it's not. So he, But he has the potential to, to run past players and, and run up and down that wing really, really quickly. So... You'd have to let me know. How much would you accept for him? Let me know in the comment section. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, please do go ahead, hit the like button, subscribe, follow me on Twitter and Facebook. The links are in the description below. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.